my god, what has he got planned? They would have some specific build to crush that player. He was a great sniper, and we haven't seen him at all this season, not even once. And that's why I think if they've chosen him today, he is got something prepared, and that X factor is why I pick him, because he definitely is a good player. Something else that may go into your favor is a look at Billowy's stats. He has five losses in a row. He's actually three and five right now, so getting those five in a row. After going 3-0 here, he, he had a big splash in the playoffs, uh, all killing a uh, very top team here. And here's a good look at Lucky, 0-0, zero and zero, no recent games, as you did mention. For I'm some, not some sure why he has the purple arrow. Yeah, why well, does he have that? Sense. He has that because he's not in Code A or Code S, and he hasn't been in several seasons, I think. Ah. That's, if, that's like the... The arrow goes off of mostly Pro League stats, but it also does take into consideration international events and Premier League uh, tournaments as well. So, you know, since he's not played in I just in feel CSL. like he, he should almost have, like, no arrow. It's just because he doesn't really have any recent results, but... That's what I feel I, I guess like. it makes sense just in terms of where... What people's idea of, his, of him is right now. Yeah, like, he where looks, his career is at. He looks stressed, man, and I wouldn't blame him. It's his first time playing, and his team is down 0-2. Gonna be rough. He needs the win here, otherwise MVP is gonna close it out 3-0. LTA는 <laughs> SK Telecom. Over here in the top left, in the teal this time, the Brodos player, it is Billowy. And over here in the top right, his opponent, Zerg player, his very first time playing for IM here, it's Lucky. Now, another X Factor. Okay, so I said that he has the X Factor being like the player has never played before and he usually is a sniper. The Y Factor, okay, if you will, is this is Habitation Station. So this is a map where sometimes you can do some pretty weird things. And maybe he's going to fast expand to the gold here. Well, what do you think, Moonblade? Definitely a possibility. We'll have to see what kind of opening he wants to. Uh, I mean, it is pretty common to see a lot of uh, cannon rushes on this map and any sort of uh, aggression. But I mean, what we see from the Protoss so far is a gateway in the main. So it looks like it's going to be a gateway, oh, a pylon in the main. So it's going to be a gateway opening. So we're not going to see any cannons this game, I believe. Yeah, in fact, Billy may even take his own gold off of that, uh, you know, fast uh, tech that he's going to be able to have Oh, and we see a drone scout from Lucky, so he's going to play the safe, and he looks like he will want to go in for the hatch first. I like it, uh, especially on a map with not this big of a rush distance. You're playing against a Protoss. We saw SOS do it to a poor Zerg the other day. Uh, just, just go ahead and look. Well, I don't know, man. This is starting to look pretty uh, okay, suspicious. Okay, this, this is looking more and more funky. We might actually see. He's gonna steal his opponent's offensive gold. Offensive gold expansion. This here. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I. This is why I picked him. Wow. Now he's gonna take the gold base after he hides his drone just to ha make sure that Billy has no idea about this until the last possible second. And if Billy doesn't actually actively check that, he's not gonna know about it for a while. Now, oh, Moonglade, do you think it's solid to actually, after doing this, do a roach push from the uh, gold base? I definitely think it's a possibility. I mean, he's getting the gas before pull, so he's going to have a lot of gas uh, when this hatchery pops up. So we might actually see a roach aggression from this. But, I mean, I think Gateway is probably probably one of the better openings to deal with this. I mean, if, especially if he scouts it. He can bring his zealots, he can bring Stalker, he br brings his Mothership Core. Chrono boosts out Warp Gate, and he can kind of have some uh, some units ready for it. And uh, obviously, Photon Overcharge. But uh, it really depends on if he's going to scout it. And I I honestly don't think he's, he's really going to actively scout his gold. Well, two two good things about putting this at your opponent's gold, by the way, is one, it goes, it's a little bit more surprising. You wouldn't expect it. The second thing is that the larva is closer. Oh, so wait a second. He's going to see it. He's going to scout it. Okay. Okay. He, was, he was going for his own expand. Look at his minerals. He was going to expand here, uh, so he's going to scout that. Yeah. yeah, that's actually a good point, Brendan. Yeah, it looks like he's very likely planning on taking that gold for himself, but now he's going to have to shift gears to get an Exus up. Yeah. So early speed has started back at home. Let's yeah, see he the reaction. Too. He's just going to expand it as naturally. He's like, okay. All right. Uh, wow, this is, this is an interesting opening for sure. Yeah. Well, we got the Queen coming out of here as well as uh, four Zerglings coming out of this gold base. So it should be enough to hold off that one Zealot. No Stalker just yet. 
You see the warp gate chrono boosted, but yeah, no stalker, no sentry, just the mothership core and a zealot so far. But he's gonna have to really. I think he's gonna go three gate pressure. From yeah, this. well, I think he's gonna wall off his natural, and he's gonna play very defensive from there. Yeah, just walling here with the uh, the units at the front, and then he, do you think he'll go even into port gates potentially? Because if he does with that warp gate research, he's chronoed. He could actually attack and kill the gold, and maybe even counter attack yeah. to the. To I the definitely main. think it'd be important to to try and get rid of that gold as soon as possible. So we could very well see a fourth gate from here. He does have two gases up though, so. Maybe he'll want to go into tech from this. Maybe a Stargate. Maybe. Oracles can be quite good. Wow, Lucky takes the second gold base This now. guy is not messing around. He's like, I, I'm going all in, man. This is this is my build. We have not seen anything like this at Pro League just yet. No, definitely not. This is the first time. And he's only going to use Zerglings for now to kind of defend against it. No no Roach tech on board. It is a bit early for a Roach Warren, but um, yeah, very interesting opening. Speed is done here, so that gives him a little bit of extra mobility, but it's not going to be too useful aggressiveness, uh, aggressive wise to attack. Forward warping point is ready, so are the gates, so he's actually going to be able to do triple uh, zealots here in just a moment. He's got the mothership core as well to do some extra points to that queen, and here come those first three zealots you guys can see here. And it looks like he's actually going to counterattack with those completely. He might even pull these, that would be super scary. Yep. That's what it looks no like idea. he's going to do right now. Lucky did see the pylon with that one Overlord that is on the way. So he's going to send the Zerglings over there and try to hit that pylon, but the, he's going to see the Zealots now. And he's going to be like, oh, okay, I know I what you're doing. I need spines. I don't yeah. have a Roach Warren. But he might he might just get be able to get enough Zerglings out. I mean, with these two hatcheries, and he was already making Zerglings before now. And, and there's only three gates. It's not four. It's only, yeah, and it's going to be three hatcheries up. And he's he can harass his pylon constantly. So I don't know what this zealot harassment is going to do. If he can get enough zealots, like I'm talking like like 12 zealots or something, he can really do some damage. But it looks like these zerglings are going to get rid of it. Yeah, but these zerglings are not defending right now while the zealots are attacking. He's actually catching some of these reinforcements. So, uh, you know, this is still 10 zealots. That's He's a got lot. the roach warren on the way now, and he has 30 zerglings as well trying to, trying to you know, pull up here in defense of all these zealots, but if these zealots get a good position on the ramp, as they are doing right now with this mothership core, can be hard to defend, but there are a lot of zerglings still. Time warp there on the ramp to help out, making it so the zerglings can't really close the gap very well. This is not looking good for Lucky right now. Zealots going to the main base. Looks like they're going to try to catch this queen, but the queen is buying so much time here, and now he's going to get a bit of a surround. That mothership core doing so much extra damage to help out as well during all of this. And, I mean, the thing is, he's... he's he, he, He's trading a lot of larva for this, but yeah. even though he's down in drones, he's on two gold bases. He's so on, he's on two gold, but I mean, he did waste a lot of lava, a lot of time, and a lot of minerals investing and defending against these zealots. But at the same time, oh boy, Philoi was transitioning. Yep, and look at this, Mothership Core is able to kill that weakened queen, and there's nothing to defend right now. He might even time warp these drones to further to slow yeah, the mine. This is actually huge. Damage. He has to just get out of there. He has to go to the uh, the gold base. He cannot sit there. Look at this it. queen. <laughs> He's trying to walk all the way back to defend against this one mothership core. Yeah, this and is uh, looking rough. That actually. is actually yeah, a horrible position to be in. He should have made a spore crawler at the very least. I, I can understand not canceling your lair, but yeah, this is really bad. This is like destroying Lucky's economy right now. You can recall at any time too, uh, or time warp, whichever he prefers, depending on the situation. And I mean, from here, Billway's just been massing at home. He's been, he's got blinks on the way. He's making two more gateways, so he's going to have a five gate blink stalker all in, timing to uh, to follow oh it up boy. on. And look at this, a uh, ton of sentries on the way to go to this gold base. The, he's a force the field. is not, uh, you know, connected here. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, but Lucky's doing a good job delaying so far with these earthlings. He's threatening at the front, but still, I mean, there's not much defense back at that gold base. He is going to catch a stalker, come from behind. Uh, these force fields. Yeah, these are force fields. He's still taking some spine crawler damage, though. I'm. I'm I'm feeling like Lucky's stabilizing actually quite a bit here. Spine's finishing up. He's got the Hydrogen coming up. The Blink is really the concern that I have going up next here. Does he really have Does he have the time to get the Hydras he needs to deal with Blink Stalkers? He's starting to add the Stalkers now. And his bases are so far away, like you said, the creep isn't connected really. So the Hydras are going to take time to, to stream across the map and get all together. Uh, this is a, a really funny situation. I'd like to see the income more often. There it is, okay. I mean, I could look at it at any time on our preview monitor, but I just wanted to see it, you know, here. You can see it's actually pretty even, even with the gold bases. Yeah, yeah they're just simply, like, under-droned at the moment. 
Yeah, exactly. He doesn't have the saturation he needs. And he's been under the pressure so long, he's been spending all his lava and army units this whole time, so he hasn't really had a chance to make workers. And now we see quite a death pool coming. A lot of stalkers in this ma uh, mix up now. Yeah, we got a good look at the energy on the sensories. Let me just say, because you can't see it now, it's a ton of energy. Great time warp on a lot of those, but still the force field's not so good. But it looks like a lot of Protoss units here. Just that spine, though, is just doing so much for him right now. It's hard for him to actually target that down because of its placement. Now he's got two of them. And he's trying to break up the ramp. Let's see, he needs four seals at the back here. Is Blink done? Yeah, it is. And he's starting to use it quite nicely. Another time warp. This one actually not too useful. Spines are gone. This is still a lot of Protoss army. Yeah, this is just too much. And it's such an awkward angle to fight at on this ramp. Yeah, with all the reinforcements he has coming so slowly across the map, the supply doesn't really tell the tale because it's half of his supply is just not where it needs to be right now. These lings are not helping out. And the crowd goes crazy seeing that. Now he's going to lose all these overlords as well. Wow. And I think this may actually just seal the deal. Uh, MVP take a 3-0. Yeah, it, it was a cool idea. But overall, uh, the response to ability we, uh, out of Billowy was good. Uh, and it just didn't really piece together here for Lucky. This, uh, this second base here at this gold is going to go down. Funny calling that the second base, but... Definitely props, just, props for an interesting strategy, but yeah, GG. GG, MVP takes a 3-0 win. Very important for their indicator going forward here. Uh, and what a what a solid group of games they played. A game one, uh, you know, not so not too shabby. Sniper taking a bit of an upset. And then in uh, game two, just a solid reaction. And then in game three, again, solid reaction to something weird. Solid defensive play uh, in the first, in the in the last two games, and a very aggressive start in game one, just knocking them down like dominoes here. Very, very well played by MVP today. Yep. I, I love the forward pylon in that game, the, the building up of the zealots. He knew he had to go aggressive. He's like, oh, you're doing something really strange. I, I think you probably don't have a good defense at home. And he was right. He went to the home base. There was no roach warren. There were no roaches. There was only uh, there was only zerglings. He got his zealots in a great position on the ramp. Killed so many of those. Was so efficient. Mothership core did so much damage. Was even killing the queen. And from there, Lucky was kind of you know, you know. Yeah, not he was good, not he in was, good spot. He was totally uh, forcing out all those zerglings with that zealot harass was like so important for the follow up. Like if he if that got shut down completely, then he's uh, the zergs in such much better position to be in. Yeah, he has a lot more larvae to use for drones.